Welcome back and thanks for joining us. If you're new to our channel, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified of each new video. In the last video, we completed the insulation with Easy Cool, which is also known as Low E Insulation. Unlike Reflectix, it has true insulating properties and helps to serve as a thermal bridge to prevent condensation. In this video, we start the floors by filling the corrugations with mini cell. Mini cell is a type of closed cell foam known for its high structural integrity and resists most solvents and chemicals as well as fungi and mold. Durable enough to withstand a large amount of pressure without major distortion, it's stronger than open cell foam, but also requires more material which makes it more expensive. The perfect material as a first layer of insulation. Hey, good morning YouTube. Happy New Year. We're going to the shop, do a little bit of work, and yeah, let's start this uh, year right. Hey guys, this is Dory and I'm Mena. We travel with our lovely dog Fiona to help you discover the most beautiful spots and to share with you what it's like to live as a nomad. So subscribe and welcome to our channel. So today, January 1st, we're back at the shop should be installing the floors but before we go ahead i just want to take some time to wish everybody a happy new year all the best for 2021 and i know uh last year 2020 wasn't easy for a lot of people in many many ways everybody had their struggle but you know what it's behind us let's keep that behind us let's move forward and let's make 2021 rock are you ready for floors because i'm ready for floors this is an exciting step honestly yes fine i'll put on the mic this is a very exciting step when the floors are done it's actually going to look more finished it's going to look more real feel more real feel more like a livable space so i'm really psyched about that and it's a huge step in our progression we followed the floor installation guide of faroutride.com. There are some slight differences, but essentially we followed their snow chasers guide. They recommended using 0.4 of an inch of mini cell to fill the corrugations. Unfortunately, at the time that we ordered it, it was sold out on eBay. So we decided to go to a different website, foamforyou.com, and we ended up buying a half inch of mini cell. We ordered 30 inches by 72 inches. It came in four pieces and we only ended up using three of the four pieces. We used spray adhesive and you have two choices here. You could use 3M90 spray adhesive or you can use Lepage heavy duty spray adhesive. We feel like the two products are comparable and Lepage was a little bit easier to use. You're also going to need a sharp utility knife and a robust pair of scissors. And of course, a lot of time. This took us around five to six hours to install. All the details about the materials, adhesives, and tools will be listed in the description below. Now let's get to work. So we got some mini cell, we ordered it online. On eBay, they were out. So we had to use a different online retailer to order it. 
and they were actually pretty quick. A lot of our eBay and Amazon suppliers for those big items were super slow, but these guys were really, really quick and the price was comparable. So if you're interested in, in an alternative to eBay, then this supplier was a good one. So let's open this up, start cutting out our pieces and these. So this layer is actually to fill the corrugations and to provide a little bit of insulation. On top of that is gonna be our XPS board. On top of that is gonna be our plywood. On top of that is gonna be our vinyl. And then life is beautiful. There are some glues and steps in between there, but that's it in a nutshell. So we're hoping that it'll get done this weekend. If not, we'll finish up next weekend. And yeah, I'm excited. Ooh, woo, floors. The first thing that we did was clean the floors and we also did put some rust oleum. But before we put the mini cell again, we're gonna clean one more time. The mini cell is gonna go in these grooves. There's quite a few of them and they're all different sizes. And this is to level out the floors, right? So that's what's gonna take a little bit longer to do is just to measure and cut and then glue. So Mena, how's it looking? I'm kind of doing it the opposite way that everybody else is doing it on YouTube, but I find it's going faster. So kind of like this way, although it's super, super messy. So yeah. I started using this paper template, but by the time I got over here, I could feel where the humps were. So I'm just working around the humps. I'm kind of cutting around the humps. And uh, yeah, and then I'm kind of lifting it to cut it. Et voila. And then if it's not wide enough, I just trim it down. What if it's too wide? And then we can throw some- Leftovers? Some extra pieces in there. So scraps so yeah i guess uh you know even if you watch tons of videos you end up doing a little bit of everybody's yeah this is i don't think i saw anyone doing it like this i think we're the only ones now you guys might love this way you might hate it but for us it works this is the supervisor right here inspecting well, you can so I'm doing the same thing like Mana. It's not super precise the way I would like to, but whatever. At least we're covering a lot of spots, right? Because you see an example right here. This is an old big space. So to go into cut and to fill up, I don't know. The way I see it, there's no right way or wrong way of doing this. You just needs to get done. Find my exacto knife. I find my midpoint. About there, just to make sure that seems about right. I like to slice it down so at least I could see. So I'm trying to follow these lines as close as possible mind you it's not a, an exact science once you start seeing your your line you just keep cutting down could already tell that this is going to make a difference because bare feet in this floor it's super cold and just by being on top of this I don't feel it I 
And that's it. This is what you do for this job. It is very labor intense again, but it needs to be done. I'm trying to see if everything is fitting nice as well. It's a messy job. So, we finished the first part and our strategy didn't really change that much except we ended up using scissors uh, well, not that it makes better cuts because it does not but easier tidier. tidier i would say but so we're sort of done with the first step uh well, we saw a lot of videos a lot maybe two three videos and the way they were installing it, they were just filling up the groove. So they would be measuring it both ways, like height and length. And then they would glue it. What we did is we grabbed the long sheets, the long format, and then laid it down on the floor and cut around. So the result is you have these that are attached versus having single ones like that uh it took us five hours to do this now i cannot remember how long on the other videos it took them to to do it like that you have to keep in mind that every single groove is not the same size they're pretty much all different and one thing to uh, consider is that it doesn't need to be perfect because we're still going to have layers on top. So the purpose of this is to have it nice and straight so we could put the extra three layers. Total will be four layers. Now we're going to clean, dry it, and then we're going to glue it. And so we wash this area. We're gonna go section by section to make things a little bit easier. We just sprayed some glue on the mini cell. And now we're gonna put some glue on the floors. So we made this template and this is what we're going to use to to cut the XPS and also the uh, plywood and we made this template pretty much the second we got the van uh, we had no materials yet no uh, netting and uh, so that was the first project we did and we're going to use it to cut the XPS 20 and it's gonna come right on top of the mini cell the mini cell took us about five hours and a half to do it close to six uh, easy work but you know just got to do it man hours the mini cell is not that easy to cut we did use an exacto um, it did help but what did the trick was scissors if you have a nice pair of scissors 
it definitely going to speed up the process. Many people were just measuring, cutting, and gluing it. Not sure what's faster. Uh, well, we prefer this way because there's less cuts, right? So everything is like attached, which is good. I don't know. I don't know what's best. We preferred it this way. We're happy. We accomplished quite a bit. We're anxious to start the floors and we finally did it. Mini cell was, was easy, but a lot of work. I even got a blister from the scissors. And then we started on the uh, XPS. So we just roughly cut it the shape of the uh, cargo. We were able to fit one piece and we still have one, two pieces, maybe three pieces that we still need to fit it properly. But yeah, we're gonna call it a night, 7.30. It's time to wrap up and go home and relax. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one.